Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, you can see that I went ahead and put the 2x6s along the uh, the rafters to join them together and uh, at each gap of the 2x6 I put a plate, uh, another 2x6 piece to uh, join them together. And they've all been screwed in with uh, 3 inch deck screws. So uh, that kind of uh, shows you what's, uh, what's going on. So we got that done today. That was a little bit of an adventure. I had to have my wife come out here to help me. But we got them in. So the uh, rafters are all linked together right now, which is good. That's what I want. So what's coming next is I'm going to trim these uh, posts and get them ready to stand up at uh, predetermined intervals along these uh, along the tuba sixes to actually maintain and share the load. I'll try to get them as best I can underneath an actual rafter if I can. So with that being said, uh, that's what's on uh, that's what's on the plate for next. However, um, I need to figure out how I'm going to attach these to my uh, tuba six bracing. Well, I have an idea. I'm going to use uh, lag screws, uh, which now I just realized means I can't put them under a uh, rafter. They'll have to go next to it, which, I mean, uh, it should be fine. But that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use about, like, you know, maybe a 5-inch or 8-inch lag screw and screw it from the top of my 2x6s down through into my post and I think that should be plenty adequate and I can brace the sides uh, of the post along the uh, 2 by 6 if I need to uh, I've got the lumber for that but I think that'll be basically my kingpin for each uh, uh, for each post and, and something to keep in mind too is, is this hull while no doubt heavy and I pro and I there's no way I could do it by myself um, you know probably only weighs maybe five to eight hundred pounds I don't think it's quite a thousand pounds so um, I mean it's not an ample lot of weight but it is quite a bit and the flies are absolutely attacking me right now but that's kind of where we stand so um, I'm gonna go into the local hardware store because I don't want to go into the big town because that's a long drive um, for some lag screws and then I'll uh, be back and uh, we'll I'll start trying to stand up posts after I trim them up and uh, do that wonderful stuff and I'll catch you up then. Everyone, uh, just wanted to bring you guys back up to speed. As you can see, we've got, uh, well, I've got the posts um, attached to my uh, two by sixes and uh, well along this side uh, with the assistance of my lovely wife because there's just no way I could do this by myself. Um, but they work pretty good. What we've done is we've used, like I said, I've used my lag bolts to uh, screw them into place. Uh, when we bring the post over here, and I'll show you guys my little post pile, my, my posts, when I bring them over, I go ahead and uh, first thing we do is we measure from the top down to get our exact height at that particular spot for that post. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll usually come back down and I will trim with the chainsaw the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, post so it's nice and flush because uh, a lot of them still have these, uh, you know, these like notches in them. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, from where I cut it down. So I have to make them square so I can, or flat, I'm sorry, so they'll sit on the floor nice and they'll sit up on the the top of the uh, the 2 by 6 real well. And and they do. Uh, once that's done, uh, we uh, cut it to length, the the length that we measured, and then uh, somewhat ingeniously, or, or I don't know, redneck or sailor, however you want to look at it, I, I tie a clove hitch around the, uh, with this line here, around the top, of the post. Once the top of the post has been tied, I uh, we stand it up as best we can and then we'll throw the line over one of the rafters or I'll
throw it over the rafter once I get up on the ladder right here and uh, we'll pull it tight that way we've always got tension up top holding it in place so it doesn't want to fall and bang up the boat or we just lose it lose its place so th that's how we do that and then what I do is I take my drill and I drill a pilot hole and then I take my impact and sink the uh, sink the lag screw and uh, that, that would conclude that that's how those get stood up and, and bolted to the uh, the 2 by 6 uh, reinforcements so there you have it that's what we look like and uh, we're going to continue the same process on the other side uh, oh also I forgot to mention we uh, before we stand them up we actually go around with the uh, sawzalls and take care of like any knots or uh, like limbs or whatever that's sticking out and we cut those off that way when we're walking around down here we don't get skinned but um, anyways I'm gonna go over to the next side uh, once the wife gets back out here and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go ahead and stand up more posts and uh, once that's done I'll start uh, figuring out just how I, and and where my hoisting mechanisms are gonna go now don't be confused we're not gonna hoist the boat today we're not gonna flip it today I still need to build the chalks for the keel to sit on so uh, and dad needs to get down here so uh, we're, we're still a ways away but I'm trying to do a lot of this ahead of time so that's where we stand guys and I will catch you up later well hello everybody again um, we have now completed the uh, the installation of the posts that's right our uh, our 2 by 6 uh, scaffolding or reinforcement runners along the rafters are now completely secured to the floor via the posts so uh, we're good with that and now um, now that that's done we can go ahead and work on oh I don't know where I'm going to attach the uh, the hoist points for the uh, the bow and the stern because uh, that's where we're obviously going to lift from so uh, I've got a little bit more contemplating to do and I'm sure dad's going to want to throw in his two cents so I'm not going to go ahead and, and tackle that now but the main reinforcements are done actually they are completely done we are good to go um, for rigging and uh, lifting so uh, I've got a little bit more pondering to do um, and once that's done we'll go ahead and start uh, you know getting uh, getting the rigging ready so there's that pretty exciting stuff took all day for Savannah and I to do that to include a trip into our little town to get some uh, lag screws but I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with the results and uh, the good news is is outside of the lag screws all of this didn't cost me anything this is all stuff I had either growing or laying around the property so I am just pleased to ever loving hell that I can use it which is you know which is good for frugal folks like us all right so that's where we stand and I will uh, catch you guys up when I know more about the uh, the hoisting and uh, as it gets closer to flipping the boat. Uh, I will talk to you then.